Hello everyone, my name is Rupen. I'm currently in my oncology fellowship. Today we're going to react to Dr. Glaucon Flecken. Who doesn't know him? He's an ophthalmologist based in the US and he makes the funniest videos in medicine. His videos are not only funny, they are real. They sometimes and most of the time reflect what really happens in real life. He's a great advocate for patients. But today, let's look at his video about oncology. And let's see if it is true or not. Okay, are you ready? Let's jump in. Knock, knock. Hi, I'm the new med student. Oh, hey, welcome to oncology. What kind of specialty you wanna go into? Actually, I've been thinking about neurosurgery. What? Well, I didn't like it at first, but it's starting to grow on me a little bit. Please, come in, have a seat. Okay. What is your... All right, let's stop there. Okay, so in the beginning of video, there is some truth in it and some part are not that true. Okay, so let's see why. So the medical students wants to become a neurosurgeon. Neurosurgery is one of the longest residencies in medicine. Not only that, it's not only about the duration. It is hard. It is long hours, lots of time in the OR, and usually I heard, I don't know, what's, that's what the story says, that usually people take a year off for research because like they can't go through the seven years. But that being said, if you want to become a cardiologist, you're going to do three years of medicine and then three years of cardiology and then you might do an extra year of interventional cardiology. So that's still long, but usually neurosurgery is harder because it's longer hours in the OR and also lots of stress. The same applies if you're going to become a gastroenterologist. So here the medical students wants to become a neurosurgeon. That's sad for the medical student. But another thing here is showing that usually oncologists do lots of palliative care conversation and being diagnosed with cancer is usually equivalent to becoming a neurosurgeon, which is both bad. If you are a neurosurgeon resident, I'm sorry about that. But I just wanna break the myth around oncology. Because in the beginning of residency, I really didn't think about oncology for my training and at what I was so wrong. Oncology changed over the last 10 to 15 years. We have tons of new types of treatments. We have immunotherapy, we have targeted therapies now. People with cancer live. Some of them are cured depending on the type of the cancer. Oncology is the fastest growing field ever. So we don't deliver lots of bad news to patients. We do deliver sometimes bad news. There are still types of cancer that we don't or we can't treat. But oncology is ever changing a specialty. So if you're in your residency, consider oncology. It's the most fascinating field ever. Understanding of neurosurgery. Uh, they do lots of cool surgeries and they help their patients. Do you know how long neurosurgery residency lasts? All right, two points here. He started the conversation with what's your understanding of neurosurgery? And we do that a lot in the oncology clinic. We ask patients, what's your understanding of having a breast cancer? Or what's your understanding of having a stage four breast cancer? Or what do you think is going on? You can't imagine the amount of times that patients get referred to the oncology clinic. No one tells them that they have cancer. The primary care provider or the nurse practitioner orders some investigation, the investigation shows suspicious findings, and then they get referred to the oncology clinic. And one of the like saddest stories I had, I heard, or like it's not I heard, I, I saw the patient, the patient was told that they have cancer through the clerk, the booking clerk in the oncology clinic. So if you are a primary care provider, nurse practitioner, if there is a test result that showing cancer, please tell your patient and tell them that the oncologist will tell, talk to them about the treatment plan. Because again, having cancer is bad, but we do have new treatment options and we do have lots of treatment options available currently. Okay, the other thing is he was quoting the studies and we do that a lot in oncology because oncology is the fastest growing field in medicine. Every six months guidelines change. And if you look how oncologists practice, usually oncologists treat one, two, three, or maximum four cancer sites. You can't treat every cancer out there because like it changes so rapidly. It is fascinating field. So there is some truth in that. We do quote lots of studies and we don't deliver that much bad news anymore. I don't know, a few years? Some studies suggest it's seven years. 
but we really don't know. Wait, what studies? Most neurosurgery residents graduate and then immediately retire because they're 65 years old. That can't be true. Have you ever seen a neurosurgery attending or have you only seen residents? Well, all right, that's true. I never seen attendings. I mostly saw residents. I worked with them when I was doing my uh, neurology rotation, they do neurology rotations, so we just cross by. That being said, it has some truth. Anyways, if you're doing neurosurgery, residency, kudos to you. Uh, you have lots of resilience. I don't have nothing against neurosurgery, but I do think that oncology is a fascinating field. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about oncology and cancer and treatment options available and the field itself, hit the subscribe and the like button and I hope I help you through your journey. And I will see you in the next video. Stay healthy.